What do you want me to do? Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound normal. Today is the day, Bobby. You ready? I've been waiting my whole three years for this. So technically, we've already done two first starts on the car. The first start, Bobby banged limiter. The second start, it'll only run for about 10 seconds. And the third start will be today. And if that goes smooth, which I'm confident that it will, we might go drive the car in the rain. And she'll run like a dream. We'll see. I gotta put new fuel pumps in it. And that should be good for the first start to actually run it. Should we do her? You got it, buddy. I wanna show you the bay. Honey, I've seen it already. Not complete. Yeah, I have. What? On the internet? No, I was here the other day. You remember? I got your front bumper to fit properly, as you can see. Yeah, it's a little crooked. What a beautiful car. I like how it's gonna be done right in time for winter. Oh, busy with these guys, teddy bear. Okay, I haven't seen it completed. It looks really good. Do you like this more now? Debatable. Cause I do. I think a nice red, not that red that's on that cover, but a darker red would look better. But if you like it, that's fine. Yeah. It's your build. I don't, I don't think, I think it really all ties in, in, in together. I need to pull out, so the lift pump in the tank itself is new. I replaced that, but the two Walbro 450s that are inside the surge tank, those are suspected to be bad. So I'm gonna pull out the current setup, put it in our new Walbro 450s, and we should be good. Because it'll start for like 20 seconds, and you guys, if you watched the last video, the fuel pressure just slowly dies. Meow, to zero. I knew we were gonna have, I called it. Remember I was in the trunk and I said, are we going to have to replace the fuel pump? You should be the mechanic on the build. Yeah. You just stepped on Piston's bear. Peeved. He's absolutely peeved. Get that old ugly thing out. Hey! <laughs> Piston! He's on one. Does he still got to go poop? These are actually not the old Walbro 450s in here right now. These are Remy's. 535s or 530s, 525, 535, 35s, whatever. The car won't even start on these and Remy and I have a bet that you can't run two of these together because one blows out the other one because there's no check valve. That's what I believe. Remy doesn't believe me. So if I put the Walbro 450s in and it fires up, Remy, you owe me a thousand bucks. That's the bet is a thousand dollars? Well, it should have been, <laughs> but I don't bet. It's a sin. That's what my mommy said. <laughs> You did. Bevin's a sin. You can't bet. I understand. New Walbro 450s are installed. Let's put this back in the car and fire it up. If you don't know what this is, let me explain this. This is a surge tank. So in the fuel tank itself, the factory fuel tank, there is a Walbro 255 and that typically factory would go to the fuel rail, but now that's set up to come to this. So the 255 fills this. This is such a, sm a small tank that when you're doing pulls, fuel doesn't go to the back of the tank because it's so small. And then in here we have two Walbro 450s. So we never will run lean from, what's the proper word? Fuel starvation. Mm. Unless you're just out of gas. Mm. So it's a good setup if you're making a lot of power. Bobby. Maybe you should put this in your car. Let's turn her up. The last time we started this, it was very scary. Hey, build fuel pressure. Oh, I can't do this. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, Helga. I'm 
I swear, if I have the same freaking problem, I'll be pissed. <laughs> Is that what it was doing last time? Devin. No, no, no. Don't judge. <laughs> Crack of the fingers. Well, the thing is, it has to fill the surge tank. And then the surge tank has to. Okay, we'll give it some more time. We'll give it some more time. <laughs> I need you to get in and keep it running so I can look at fuel pressure. Just please don't bang the limiter this time. Is, did you fix the freaking pedal? Nope. Don't go all the way to the floor. Just feather it. I wouldn't ever do that. You did last time. No, Fired up. Ten hours later. <laughs> Fired up. Oh, no. <laughs> start the car, dude. If it doesn't start, I'm gonna leave. It'll start. She's fixed. It's flash. It's flashing. Just start the car. I'm gonna have to adjust fuel pressure. Bobby, fire her up. Go. Drop and then leave it. <laughs> Strong piston. I know he's big boy piss. Come on. Tell me. Get a piss. Get a piston. Free exercise. For it the is. Dog. Car's running great. We had a slight power issue going to the fuel pump, so I got that sorted out. So everything's good there. The only other things we need to drive the car is power steering. So we need to bleed the power steering, bleed the brakes, bleed the clutch. Oh my gosh. And then, well, it's all pretty simple. <laughs> no, it is. It says Devin every shop day. Can you teach him to drop and then leave it? Drop it. Drop it. Good. Leave it. Leave it. I don't know how to teach but him nothing. He, no, he, human. he tries to freaking get it. He's a, he's a human. No, no, no. Try one more time. Piss it, come. Piss it. Drop it. Leave it. Leave it. Sit. It, if you do it slow, Sit. if you try to get it slow, he will not let you. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> See? He tried to get it Bobby, one. He's pretty dang good. No, that was Naughty Boy. He's got better self control than you with your cookies. <laughs> Leave it. Good boy, free. Go get it. That was pretty Kay. good. So I need power steering fluid. You want to get some now or should we bleed the clutch and brakes? Clutch and brakes first. All right. Bobby doesn't have to help me bleed the brakes and clutch anymore because of this guy right here. Best unit I've ever bought because Bobby never wants to help. <laughs> 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I remember. I will beat you to a pole. Okay, no. Piss no. Because you told your dog no. Oh. Whoa! Absolutely not the camera. Good boy. Look at that face. Hold on. We've been working on a trick, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys like piston because Bobby really wants to wants to show you all the piston things today. Place. Good boy! Good boy, baby. Feel right if I'm being honest. Who 
What do you mean? This motor's like freaking hanging on by a limb. Well, it's hard to say when it's in the rain. <laughs> she felt like she's on 20 pounds, not 40. It's fine. It's fine. No more pulls for the day. Especially in your car with a brand new engine. So we're getting power steering fluid. We're gonna go back, bleed out the power steering. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had a burnout. Oh, that's funny. And go on a drive. I should start a dog channel. That'd be the biggest feature. What kind of concoction do you got going on? Do you like your reservoir I bought you? Yes. Can you even tell I bought you one? <laughs> Stock, they're white. I bought a black one. Yep. Okay. Let's bleed her out. So bleeding simple. Fire it up. Crank the wheel back and forth. And you're done. 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 <laughs> China. What do you need from me? <laughs> Hi, the technique. Everything but the side skirts and the inner fenders is complete, and we're gonna go on a drive. Wait, not hop, that, not that close. Hop in, Willis. On that side? No, drive her out. Oh, ho, <laughs> so exciting! Did I scare you? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Fire steering still? Hi? I think it's my power steering. I don't know. Well, did you feel it? It sounds more tin like, like something's dragging. Pull it out. How do you put it in the air? One more last little problem, apparently. There's some sort of rotating noise. I think it's coming from the drive line. Sounds like the drive line's hitting the exhaust. Easy fix, quick adjustment. We should be good to go. I hate this. <laughs> All right, put her in gear. Let out the clutch. Off, yeah. Hi. Bobby, you can't roll off the lift. <laughs> You're 100 feet in here. I really don't like this. <laughs> Go ahead. Drive. It smells like 
in here because I've been working on your fuel system. Feel free to roll down your window. I'm really cold, but I'll roll it down. Keep an eye on oil pressure oh. and you'll be good. Take the e-brake off. Oil pressure is beautiful. 40 pound. <laughs> Oh man, that is some long gearing. Very long gearing. That final drive putting in work. I have a 430 final in mine. This car's got a 418. Stock's 468 or 470. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can talk and you can talk. So, car's all good to go. Fluids are all good to go. I'm going to end the night off with some goodies from JD Customs. I like to put these parts on pretty much all the Evo builds. They specialize in titanium hardware. And as you guys know, we're kind of going away from the purple theme on the build. And this is a pretty crazy color we're doing for the hardware. Gold. Titanium. <laughs> the color would be silver. Bare titanium. So I'm super excited for all this. This is what we run on the yellow Evo 8 project in Man oh Man. It is just 
precise. For example, watch this. Zoom in on your on the OEM. Ooh, that is so crusty. So here's the stock one. Crust. That's actually out of a secret Evo no one knows about. Mm -hmm. And here's the new one. Ooh. Now we can run this. Perfect. Bam! So check this out. <laughs> See, I was a little undecided on stuff like this, but I think it's gonna look nice. Mm -hmm. This, nice titanium. Very nice, it's just such a clean look. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Kay. If it's too bright, we could not put it on, but I like it, I hope you like it. It'll be just perfect. Plus it's scratched up. Yeah, it's very crusty. All right, I'm just gonna set the camera up, run a time lapse of installing all this bare titanium goodies on the car, and then show you guys what it looks like after. You're doing it on this video? It's a lot. Honey, it's gonna take me five minutes. Okay. I know you wanna go home and eat your little pizza, hang out with your little puppy dog, <laughs> but we're here to work <laughs> on cars. <laughs> still have a few more little pieces of the titanium hardware to install, but I got all the main components on. Replaced all of the fender and headlight hardware with the titanium. Of course, those badges there, brake cap, the dipstick, valve cover, all the good stuff is now installed. If you guys are looking to spice up your build a little bit with some nice titanium hardware, Head to JDC, you can use my discount code DVNEMOLA10 to save 10% off any of the JDC products. Well guys, first drive out of the way, went great. Here's kind of the plan moving forward. 50 miles, change the oil, drive a couple hundred miles, put it on the dyno, and let Bobby enjoy it from there. This car turned all the way up, probably will make 800-ish. Bobby doesn't want that kind of power, but if that's what it makes, cool. We can have separate maps, which we're gonna set up this car to change on the fly. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Peace out, my friends, and I'll see you boys in the next video. Good night.